in the action early. She uh, looks out wide. She's got a couple of players out here and, uh, and the mark's taken there by Hannah McDermott for Nightcliffe. She drives the ball along this flank and that's a beautiful one-handed mark there by uh, Chantel Miskin-Rippia. So, due got to the front, got the hit out, but Miskin-Rippia read it best. And uh, hand pass to herself. Front, and then, and then taps the it positions. on pretty cleverly. Morrison for Nycliffe drives them deep towards the top of the goal square. Oh, and a fantastic it, it. mark taken there, right at the top of the goal square. Some, some good work from Nycliffe in the build up and uh, a really strong mark. I think this might be legs. They call her legs? No, 26. Rose Russell. Rose Russell. And uh, she has no problem, puts it straight through the middle. So um, she drives the ball towards half forward now and uh, contest there but some good work by Bianca Stokes off the ground gave herself some space couldn't pick it up and now Nightcliff the opportunity again comes inside here and uh, well, kick goes Nightcliff got all the numbers here if they here. can use it wisely Gets up and swings run kick towards goal and oh, that's, that's a terrific finish from about 30 out and that's uh, is that Lex? Great goal there. That's uh, <laughs> Jacqueline Anion Smith. That's I right. Think. Yeah, I believe they call her Legs, and she's their leading goal kicker at Nightcliff. And uh, from uh, Elspeth Barley. Now the opportunity for Anion Smith got the ball in front of her. She's got some players around her though, and uh, draws a high tackle. And we'll go back and take the free kick. Well, we might test her here. I'd, th I'd say so. This might it's, test uh, the distance. So she'd be about 40 out when she kicks this football. So it would be. Uh, Take her very We're best, I would think. They're thinking she's got the distance. So oh. kicks on its way now. It looks oh, pretty good from here. And that's that clear. is a cracking kick. Cleared all those players on the line. Fantastic legs, finish. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right here to Icono, who drives the ball down the line. Morrison gets her hand to the ball and then butters up. Gets a hand pass across to Wolsey. Back to Morrison. Morrison with a bit of space now. Drives the ball long deep into the forward line and uh, ball spills over the back it's a foot race on here kick off the ground and uh, another one and uh, that's it's the coach Shannon I think Miller. Shannon Miller who uh, <laughs> gets, her name, gets a goal on the board yeah <laughs> was... uh, looks for the options kick sees a player on the lead there and uh, Mark's taken by Crystal Brown I think it might be or Taylor Hardalooney sorry on, on the lead and um, a good mark out in front Left foot kick. So taking plenty of time over this one. It should cover the distance normally. Well, the kick's not her best and it's gone low like a bullet through for, for uh, a behind only. But, but that levels up the scores here at TIO Stadium five minutes into the final quarter. So Yeah, I think she might have got a bit too close to the man on the mark there. Throwing it up around half forward and on the wing. Yeah, and I think that's a good move from Miller. Speaking of home, he's yeah, right in it. the action there. Got her fist to the ball and uh, running onto it is De Hommel for Nycliffe. Drives long towards the goal. It's going over the top of the player's heads. Bounces straight oh. up in the air. And uh, Bianca spoke. Stokes was able to get back and get her hand to the ball and knock it through for a rush behind. She hand passes inboard instead to Anya Smith, ducks around, runs towards goal now, kicks long, but that's offline. It's just snuck through for one point. I think that might, that might be why she's playing a little bit higher up the ground, trying to get a bit of purchase into their forward line. Players heads towards goal and uh, Mark, the kick's marked just inside the... Tough angle though. Just inside the boundary she's line gonna there. She's going to come around here. I know, Mark, straight up. Chipping back and, and that's a really good Legs. option. And uh, Legs is on. Jackie Onion Smith, about 20 out directly in front. Oh, so we know she's got the distance. So. <laughs> Some good work. She's not taking much time over this one. Kicks on the way. It's. Uh, oh, maybe she should have. Yeah, she's missed oh. that one to the to the right hand side, and so. Especially with the time at the moment being in 11 minutes, suck up all that time that you can just. That's right. To yeah. keep the pressure back on Buffs. Yeah, you would think a goal there would have almost. Almost settled the game, but uh, yeah. Buffs are still right in at three points the difference. The Got great the forward cleverly by uh, Bullen comes.
towards uh, half forward now for Buffs and a uh, chance to run onto the ball here. It's, it's Hartalini with the ball in it's front of her. her She's, uh, she swings back around now, oh, kicks smothered boy. in there. She's still in the play, but she's taken oh, a good hand pass out. And the kick forward there by Trindle Price in the goal squares the contest, but Wolsey's work back for Nightcliff drives them out of defence again and uh, picked up down there. Quick kick forward. And now it's Varley for Nightcliff working in there. But Duggan comes in. Hey, she's tackled and the ball spills free. Varley clears Nightcliff out of defence again. But Buffs are on the end of this one. Ayakono marks and plays on straight away. He goes straight up the middle of the ground. Numbers there for Nightcliff. Oh, the bounce doesn't favour them. And uh, Jamandi for Nightcliff relieves the pressure and kicks towards the centre square where Miskin Ripia is first to the ball and drives Nightcliff further forward again towards half forward. On the end of this one is Stepica. The ground now and now a kick back in board by Buffs towards the corridor. Nightcliff have uh, the two on one here and cleverly picked up there by uh, Rosemary Clow and got it to Morrison who drove the ball forward. Ball's bouncing in space in the Nightcliff forward line. Oh, what a game! <laughs> and uh, you called it, Heidi. What a game. Wow. Uh, no goals in the last quarter, but the quality of football was fantastic. The contest was hot all day. And uh, I think in the end, it's a three-point three win to Nightcliff, and probably they deserved it in the end. Yeah, I agree. I think um, Buffs left their run a little bit late. Started to look good towards that second second half, but the damage was done. And Wow, Nightcliff, that's a, that's a huge upset in the Women's Premier League, but um, not a huge surprise when you look at Nightcliff and what they've formed this year and they've really come together as a team, gelled really well. And they're missing one of their key players in Michaela Ward. So right. they'll be super happy with that. Shannon Miller will be beside herself. It's a fantastic result. It's the, uh, it's the first time in their history that they've won four in a row now and, uh, and it cements their place in the finals, which will be their first finals appearance as well. So the big improvers of the year in women's football, Nightcliff, and, uh, and well-deserved win today. And, Look forward to seeing them some more as the season progresses. Thanks for calling.